So is KD Spy a great software platform to use for Amazon KDP publishing? Well, in this video, I'm going to provide my own review of the platform, some of the good things about it, some of the things that you might struggle with, and ways that you can utilize that platform or that software platform to really accelerate your publishing. Hello, my name is Romney, and I help people to self-publish on different platforms like Amazon KDP and Ingram Spark. And it's important to know the different software platforms you can use as you self-publish. Some may be beneficial, some might be just a waste of time and money. So in this video, KD Spy will be on my radar. So let's have a look at KD Spy and give the ins and outs of what I like and things that can be improved with the platform. Let's get onto it now. So we're on KD Spy right now. KD Spy has just been updated to KD Spy Pro, was KD Spy version 5. So as of May 2023, there is an updated version. Now, if you do purchase KD Spy, you get free updates all the time. And the benefit, which I'll scroll down here in a moment, is that KD Spy is a one-off payment of $69. And I love that approach where when you purchase a software, you have lifetime access without having to pay a subscription model. So it's easy to budget for as well. And you know you have that lifetime access. Now, one of the great things about KD Spy is it'll save you significant amount of time and effort collating data. It'll bring it to you within seconds rather than spending hours bringing that information together for your niche research and keyword research. So in a moment, I'm going to go through some of the key features of KD Spy, some of the things that I really like about it, and we'll also investigate how you can use it in a practical nature towards your research for books. Now, if you want to purchase it, and I'd be greatly appreciative of it if you use my link below, I'll leave that in the description. And we can also ensure that when you get KD Spy, that you download it properly, because when you add to cart, it'll actually provide you with a download link, and then it'll provide you with this little icon up the top here. And I'll show you how that works during our uh, process uh, of looking and identifying a certain niche or book. And when you click on that link, it'll actually bring up the data that you're looking for. But I'll expand on that a bit more during the video. So let's get into the next stage. So the next part is to go through a way we can practically use it. I want to be able to teach you some of the best ways to, your, to be able to use KD Spy. And you can accelerate your publishing that way by publishing the right niches and having the right keywords. So if we just went to the best sellers of Amazon and we started to go into one of the key niches that we might want to publish into. So if we went to children's books, growing up and facts of life, and we went to friendship, social skills and school life. If we went and went down a little bit more and we went down to say self-esteem and self-respect, if we wanted to find out some data about the books that are sitting in this niche, then what we do once we've downloaded KD Spy is click on our link right here. So this will now bring up the data for KD Spy. You can see it thinking about it right here, and you can see as it starts to tick through some of the information. So you'll see it loading up, and it provides all the data we need right here. So in this particular niche, under these bestsellers, Average sales rank is 549 and the monthly revenue $54,000, but it is it gives you a green and yellow and red light. So it's got, um, pop, it's a popular niche, potential is very good, but there is strong competition. But if we were to drill down a little bit more into this, we can find out some more information. So if we go to insights, actually what we might do, we might go to bestsellers and this will list um, obviously our bestsellers right here. We've got our books and then we go to, we might go to word cloud. This will give us the keywords that are used most frequently across these titles. And then you can also do a book tracking. So you can actually track a book and how it's actually been going. So we go back to paperback and we'll go back again to the results. We'll get off that again. If we click on this, what we might do is drill down into a particular keyword. So we might go to first day of school and this, let's have a look through here. If we go up here and we go my first 
day, or say first day, kindergarten. A kindergarten book. So we've got our keyword. This brings up those books. There's 50,000 results. So if we go to KD Spy and we use the tool, it'll actually bring up the insights of this very, very quickly for us. Otherwise, we'd be spending hours trying to uh, ascertain this information. So what I like to do with KD Spy is to wait for all the information to load up. So first day of kindergarten book, the keyword has an average sales rank of 28,000 across these books. Monthly revenue is 70,000. What I normally like to do is get rid of one of these outliners, which is 484,000. I might get rid of two or three if there's some blowout books. The rest of them are ranked pretty low. So Average sales rank of 4933. It also gives me the book uh, average price. Again, competition is quite high. If we want to do our analysis, we can find out if the keyword, which is first day of kindergarten book, appears in these titles or not. So, yes, it does. You can see that right there. It's got a ranking of 686. 68,452. You can see the reviews. If we go back to results, you can even filter the results that way. And you can also do the same with the sales rank. You can, by clicking on the little um, or the word right here, you can filter it. You can also get the word cloud and we can do uh, further insights as well. What I want to show you now is the insights tool that you can use to integrate. Uh, chat GPT. So if you go to insights here, you'll see you've got the market intelligence report, demographics and psychographics, trend analysis, market problems and questions, market dreams and goals, key success factors for non-fiction books and key success factors for fiction. Now sometimes chat GPT won't uh, open up immediately. So it's probably best if we wanted to do a trend analysis of this keyword, I would copy this, but then use the prompt here. If I click use prompt, it'll take me straight to chat GPT, where it'll bring up the main prompt. It'll actually bring up some of the books that we want to look into and the positive trends, negative trends, recommendations and insights. So if we click go, then ChatGPT will go to work and provide an analysis of this keyword, which is going to be amazing for us if this is a particular niche or keyword that we want to get into. So it'll provide everything here. It'll talk about the positive trends, being the inclusivity and diversity, emotional well-being. Then it will talk about the negative trends. So some themes such as first day jitters and preparing for kindergarten have been repeatedly explored. So it may be too competitive to get into. Recommendations, insights from other data sources, and it provides a conclusion. So you can use this tool to help you with some further analysis for your books by using that tool that we we're using um, for our analysis. And you can also do it directly on the book. So if we were to go straight to a book, we did the tool here, we can go to insights here. Now, what I normally do is go paperback. It'll provide the sales rank, the est estimated monthly revenue. And if I go to insights, again, I can use the prompt and I can drill down into this one particular book. So that will help. Um, with all those details. So it does provide you with some great tools that way. Let's get back out of this and we're going to go back to first day kinder. So let's see if we can drill down a little bit more into a way that we could expand on using KD Spy for some other books. So if we go to books, let's go to children's books again. Let's go to uh, let's have a look. We'll go to children's holiday books. And let's go to books. Uh, we might even do, let's let's just go to books. And I'm going to do to, go to, we'll do to airport travel activity books. If it comes up, 
maybe not coming up at the moment. I might write for kids. Nothing's coming up on Amazon for the moment, but let's just have a look and see. There's only 459 results. So if you were creating a book about that, we might do airplane coloring and activity book. Let's try that. We might do this one right here. So this these will bring up the results of people searching for on Amazon. So we, we, we want these results to come up. You can see the expander that I've got set up as well. That is this one right here, which is AMZ Suggestion Expander. That's a Chrome extension. If I go to this one right here, it brings up 4,000 results. Now we're going to use KD Spy, and let's drill down a bit more how we can use this tool. So we click on KD Spy right here. It bring up the results for us. We just have to wait a little bit of time for the results to come up. It'll give us the popularity potential competition. We're searching under US region right now. You can change this region if you wanted to, but I tend to use USA because it's got the largest volume of people that are purchasing books. So I need that. And it's also the market that I'll be publishing into. What I'd then do is go to the sales rank and I'm going to get rid of the last maybe the last three in that area. Then I check the sales rank, 63. I'm normally aiming for perhaps anything under about 150,000 sales rank on average. It's not a hard and fast rule, but it's sort of like what I like to do. And then we can also go to reviews to find out how these books are traveling. So this book right here, that's a school zone one. We're looking for an activity plane book. So this one here, it does a monthly revenue of $511 per month. It's got 73 monthly sales and 72 reviews, ranked at 67,000. And the list price is just under $7. And it's been uh, listed for 102 days. So we can also check this book directly. So we can go into it and we can have a look at the book. We can scroll down and check all the details if we want to, and you can also check the ranking right there. So you can see it right there. So let's go back into our book right here. What else do we want to see? We've got the results, we've got the analysis, so we can see the different analysis and keywords. We can do our word cloud, find out what keywords we should be using in our title, our subtitle and our seven backend keywords. And you can also use your insights tool to use AI integration with chat GPT. It's such a handy tool. So if we go back again, we can see different airplane activity books that are coming up. And again, we can drill down a little bit more into these books. So it's could potentially have a really good chance of being able to rank in this particular niche and i found this information out so quickly by using KD Spy to do that for me so remember go to your particular keyword upload or sorry use KD Spy to bring up the information get rid of say the bottom three because they're what we call our outliners they're books that perhaps uh, don't have a very good cover they mightn't be very good they're not selling very well the next thing you might want to do is to check whether these books that are coming up are actually part of the keyword so airplane activity book it matches here we're not going to be using one that might have paint by stickers because it's not part of the topic or the keywords that we're using what other what other ones doing well so if we go to this one right here this is airplane activity books for kids it's got a ranking of 4,952, and it's got 246 reviews, really good strong revenue, estimated monthly sales, and it's been only published for 98 days, and it's about $6.50. Again, brings up all the information that you need. That is a good overview of KD Spy, how it's used, and if you're also wanting to know how I'm getting the ranking up right here, that is right here. So it's called DS Amazon Quick View. Again, a free Chrome extension that you can use to bring up these results right here. There's a lot of good books that you could publish for airplane travel. It looks to be a popular niche and 
The reason why I was able to get this data so quickly was by using KD Spy. So that's the best way of using KD Spy and a quick, a quick overview of why I'd recommend it for anyone that is publishing to Amazon KDP. So what's my overall view of KD Spy? Well, when I create my books, and particularly when I'm publishing within my business, I want three key things. I want it to be easy and efficient and save me time. Tick for KD Spy, because it does that. It brings all the data together nice and quickly and efficiently. Number two, I don't want you spending a lot of money on software unless it's going to exponentially do something for my business and help. It might be accounting software that is critical. But KD Spy for $69 and it's a one-off payment, I consider that a great investment. And so it's not gonna cost my business a lot of money to invest in something that's gonna save me a significant amount of time. And thirdly, am I gonna get updates and provided with great customer support? And again, I get ticks for those. If I've ever had a problem, I contact KD Spy and within 24 hours, I've had a, a result or a feedback or um, a response to my concern. So it does tick all those boxes. I don't really think there's much that you could you could say that's wrong with the platform. Um, perhaps if it had some better insights for using AI technology, I know the insights tool is a new integration and I know that they'll be working on other tools to help with that, that would be good. And also maybe some better insights for other countries or marketplaces would potentially help as well. Uh, so there are probably a couple of things I'd like to see improvements in uh, with KD Spy. But overall, it definitely gets my tick. I don't make recommendations for softwares that I don't use personally and I wouldn't stand behind of because I want the integrity of what I do and those businesses that I guess provide these reviews for to ensure that they're doing the right things by those people that use those platforms as well. So I hope you found this tutorial, this video, this review, helpful, um, and I'll be providing some other reviews and tutorials at other platforms that I use that go into some more depth about the best ways to use them. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you did want to purchase KD Spy and you don't have the platform, I'd really appreciate you using the link below in the description. So thank you, and I'll provide more reviews at another time. Thanks a lot, and goodbye.